Hey, and welcome to the video. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss another great video like this one. Let's get into it. In today's video, we are going to embark on the thrilling journey to discover what is Snake Island. Located 20 miles off the coast of southeastern Brazil, the land is a part of the state of Sao Paulo. This small but treacherous island is home to many species of snake, including the deadly golden lancehead viper. Measuring just 430,000 square meters or 106 acres, Snake Island is densely populated with these slithering creatures. Its diverse terrain, including a small portion of rainforest, provides an ideal habitat for the golden lancehead viper to thrive. Let's dive into the captivating world of the Golden Lancehead Viper. It is believed that this snake species became trapped on the island over 11,000 years ago after the last ice age, when rising seawater separated Snake Island from the mainland. The Golden Lancehead Viper has a distinct appearance, with light yellow and brown scales particularly noticeable on its underside. Its head shape, resembling a lance's blade, sets it apart and contributes to its formidable presence. In captivity, their golden brown color deepens, which is likely due to ineffective thermoregulation and makes their captivity and conservation difficult. It also has a more elongated tail than its relatives, which is likely evolved to help maneuver trees more easily from a younger age. The golden lancehead viper's diet consists primarily of perching birds. However, they have also been observed eating other reptiles like lizards and occasionally resorting to cannibalism. This is a unique and venomous species found exclusively on Snake Island. It is also closely related to the fur de lance, the deadliest snake in the Americas. The remote location of the island adds to the danger as help is far away in case of a snake bite. The venom of the golden lancehead viper is incredibly potent with a mortality rate that can reach up to 7%. Those fortunate enough to receive antivenom have a mortality rate of up to 3%. However, without treatment, the chances of mortality can increase all the way to 7%. The venom attacks red blood cells, causing severe physical damage, including pain, internal bleeding, and muscle tissue necrosis. Access to Snake Island is strictly regulated by the Brazilian government to protect both humans and the snakes. Only the Brazilian Navy and a select few researchers, accompanied by certified doctors, are granted permission to visit the island. However, poaching poses a significant threat to the survival of the Golden Lancehead Viper, which is already critically endangered. From 1909 to the 1920s, a few people did end up living on the island in order to run the lighthouse. But according to another local tale, the last lighthouse keeper, along with his entire family, died when snakes slithered up the lighthouse through an open window and bit every family member inside. With an estimated population of 2,400 to 2,900 golden lancehead vipers on Snake Island, their future hangs in the balance. The decline in migrating birds reaching the island has intensified competition for food for the golden lancehead viper. Visiting Snake Island without authorization is not only illegal, but extremely perilous. It is far better to appreciate the beauty and mystery of Snake Island through documentaries and photographs. Here are some additional facts about Snake Island. The island was previously a plantation, but unfortunately it went wrong. There were plans originally to build a banana plantation on the island, but as soon as the explorers saw the snakes, everything went wrong. The Golden Lancehead Viper is the only known species of snake on the island. The Golden Lancehead Viper is responsible for 90% of all snake bite related deaths in Brazil. Some scientists believe there are between one and five snakes per square meter on the island. Due to limited resources of food, the population of snakes on the island has been reduced by 15% in the last 20 years. Some scientists believe that the Golden Lancehead Viper's venom could be used for pharmaceutical purposes to treat heart disease and blood clots. We hope you enjoyed learning about Snake Island and encourage you to like and subscribe if you want to see more amazing videos about animals and the world around us. Also, don't forget to visit azanimals.com to explore more about nature and animals. Thanks for watching.